You probably don't recognize this girl and there's a good chance you've never even seen her before in your life. She's not some celebrity or movie star in disguise, so why is she being interviewed by David Letterman? Believe it or not, this girl is one of the most influential people to ever exist on the internet. She was the very first live streamer. On April 14th, 1996, before Ninja, Ice Poseidon, and even before The Truman Show, there was this woman known as Jenny Cam. At 19 years old, Jennifer Ringley, a college student at the time, accidentally invented live casting. She set up a webcam in her dorm room as a programming experiment and would have it broadcast and take a picture of whatever she happened to be doing at the time. From simple errands to sexual activities to parties, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The goal for Jenny Cam was for her to document a real person's life. She treated it as an experiment at first, but within two years, Jenny Cam became one of the most popular people on the internet. At its peak, her website had over 7 million views a day. This may seem like nothing today, but keep in mind, this was back in 1996, where the internet was far less common. People had never seen anything like this. Jenny was never doing challenges or trying to entertain her chat. She was just living her life, trying to be as authentic as possible. Today, it might seem like nothing, even boring in fact, but her actions gripped viewers' attention, making them absolutely fascinated by Jenny's next move. This was at a time where reality TV shows like Big Brother didn't exist. A time where things you saw on screen were overproduced with scripts, directors, and actors. To see someone just act normal was incredibly rare. Jenny never seemed desperate for fame either. Her appearance on David Letterman had her acting like just a regular person who happened to be doing this crazy thing at the time. As time went on, Jenny upped her production levels, adding multiple cameras to wherever she was living at the time. Jenny eventually started charging people for premium access through PayPal. This would allow for more photos and more cameras. This went on for some time until Jenny started to run into some issues. Keeping your life that public, it's hard not to accidentally reveal something you probably shouldn't. And that's what happened with Jenny. While on her live stream, she slept with someone else's fiance. And it wasn't just anyone's fiance. Over the years of live streaming, Jenny inspired some imposters, other girls who would live stream. And one of these imposters' fiancés ended up sleeping with Jenny Cam. So this caused some serious controversy and drama. Not just from her fans, but even mainstream news outlets. The Washington Post even called her an immoral man-trapper. This hate that Jenny had never experienced before, coupled with the fact that she started working a full-time job as a web developer in California, forced her to stop the website. She was growing up and just wasn't home as often, and when she was, she was probably sleeping. At the time, PayPal also said you couldn't pay through the site for anything nudity-related. So on December 31st, 2003, Jenny Cam shut her site down for good. Looking at her live streams today might seem incredibly primitive by today's standards, but without Jenny experimenting during college, who knows where the internet would be today.